This is Ivan Pavlov. He was born on September 14, 1849, in Ryazan, Russia. His father, Peter Pavlov, was a village priest. He wanted to follow in his father's footsteps, so in 1860 he attended the Ryazan Theological Seminary to become a priest. But then in 1870, Pavlov abandoned his religion career to pursue a career in the sciences. He attended the University of St. Petersburg and studied natural history in the physical sciences department. And in 1875, he graduated with the degree of Na candidate of natural sciences. Then with his curiosity in physiology, he attended the Academy of Medical Surgery, but not to become a doctor. He just intended to pursue his physiological studies. After leaving the academy, he studied digestion and circulation for two years. And in 1879, he earned his medical degree and then his postdoctoral degree. After receiving these two credentials, Pavlov began to develop his most famous theory. This would eventually be named Pavlov's dog. During the 1890s, Ivan Pavlov researched the salivation of dogs in response to being fed. He noticed the dog would begin to salivate whenever he entered the room, even when he was not bringing it food. This revelation was the beginning of his classical conditioning theory. He began to apply this theory with the use of a bell as the stimulus. This was Pavlov's experiment. Before conditioning, Pavlov would bring his dog food and measure how much it would salivate when it saw the food. During conditioning, Pavlov would ring a bell and bring his dog food and again measure how much the dog salivated when the food was brought to it. After conditioning, Pavlov would just ring a bell and measure how much the dog salivated. Therefore, Pavlov proved that you could condition a response with a certain stimulus. He believed that a person's behavioral development is strongly affected by conditioned nervous responses to life events, like how the dog's response to the bell was created after it learned that the bell proceeded with food. But, this, but with this, he caused a split in the field of psychology. Pavlov's ideas opposed the views of Sigmund Freud. Freud theorized that an individual's thought processes was the driving force behind human behavior. Freudian psychology became the primary approach to mental health treatment, not Pavlov's. But Pavlov maintained his devotion to the importance of conditioned reflexes in human behavior. He applied his theory to the treatment of psychiatric patients by placing them in a quiet and isolated environment in order to remove any possible psychological or physiological stimuli that might negatively affect or influence their mental health. So how could Pavlov's work help explain the modern social situation, and why is he important in our study of so the social sciences? Pavlov's work helped to create a new way to study human behavior. It can explain how people with post-traumatic stress disorder can have flashbacks to traumatic events when they see, hear, or smell certain things. Pavlovian training is used in many fields, such as antiphobia treatment. In this treatment, the patient is taught to a technique to calm and relax their muscles. They use this technique while imagining themselves in a fear-producing situation, and over time, they are able to put themselves into the situation and relax because of behavior conditioning. Pavlov's Research Methods Detailed Notes, Fieldwork, Observation, and Collections of Stats Created using Powtoon